Hi, I'm Jamie from Stonemeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite mechanism in the cooperative game Dwarf Romantic. This is based on a video game that I haven't played. Uh, it's a solo video game, but they expanded it to be a one to six player cooperative game. And I played it at two players. We didn't quite crack 100 points, and I'll talk about points in a second, but I still had a lot of fun. I've been thinking about it ever since we played that game. And I think one of the reasons that I really enjoyed the game, and perhaps my favorite mechanism in the game, is how you chain different goals together. At any given time in Dorf Romantic, you have three goals on the table. And they look like this. There are tiles with a different back than the normal tile. Most tiles in the game have this back, and they look kind of like that. But you have these goal tiles, and at any given time, you have three of these on the table. And when this one comes into play, you take a little token. You can see this little icon right there. You, you take a random yellow token, and you pair it with that tile. So you pair uh, this number five with that tile. There it is right side up. And what this is saying is that this wants you to have a group of connected yellow uh, fields um, on hexes that are total five, total exactly five. So if I, if I have that goal come out, then I might have some other tiles around it. I'm, later on, I might place some tiles around this so I can achieve that goal. When I do that, I gain that token and I get to reveal a new goal, which will hopefully give me more points. That was worth five points once I, once I accomplish it. This by itself is a nice little goal system. It's very intuitive how many points you're getting. You're getting five points. You're trying to string together five different fields together. But the thing that I think elevates it is this random element of these tokens. Because at the beginning of the game, you have uh, five of these tokens. There's a four, there's two fives, and two sixes. And they're face down. You don't know which one you're going to draw when you draw this tile. But you do know all those, those tokens are there. And... Um, what you can end up doing is stringing together multiple goals. So say we completed this goal, and then we happen to later draw this goal. So there's another goal that wants a field. We might put this field adjacent to the field that we, or put this goal adjacent to this field that we already have in the hopes that we actually draw a six on this one and instantly complete it because we already completed the five on this one. Adding one more field becomes six, and maybe we'll draw the six tokens. So there's a little bit of luck element here too. Am I going to draw the six? But you do have information that there are maybe two sixes left. You've already used a four and a five. So chaining together these goals feels really, really good, especially with a small element of risk that you'll draw a goal that you've already completed or that, or that you can't complete because if I, if I drew a four or a five while placing the second tile, I can't meet that goal because you have to get exactly that number of tiles within that group. So it's a very simple streamlined goal system, but it actually works really, really well. The one other element of the game I wanted to mention is uh, how you win the game, which you weren't really winning Dwarf Romantic. Instead, you were just trying to have the highest score possible, kind of like you would in a video game. You're trying to have the highest score possible. There isn't a lose condition. So you're always winning. You, you No matter when you when you play Dwarf Romantic, you're creating a beautiful um, series of hexes on your board, and you're getting a score that hopefully is higher than a previous score. Um, you aren't even necessarily trying to be at best your previous score. You're just trying to get the best score possible. And that honestly has been what has made me think back upon this game and wants to make me get it back to the table because of that desire to beat my score, to have a better score, to do a little bit better, to have that sense of mastery as I'm playing, not have this binary win-lose condition um, that, that I see in many cooperative games, which I'm okay with in many cooperative games, but I just, I, I like this system a lot. That it, it's a it's a game designed around points and give you more points, and the goal of it is to get more points than you did in the past, um, or and to try to level up and get a little sense of mastery. There's even stuff you can unlock that that changes the puzzle along the way. I'm not even talking about that part of it yet. I haven't gotten there, um, but just this element of trying to have a better score than I did in the past. And whenever I sit down to play this game, just trying to have a great score, just trying to have a great score. Um, it's something that I, I honestly, I think I'd like to see it more in cooperative games. I, I think maybe it's a little bit downplayed how effective that can be to get someone to get the game back to the table to do a little bit better than they did the previous time, rather than having it be a sense of loss uh, if, if you if you simply lose the game in a cooperative game in particular. So yeah, that's my favorite mechanism in Dwarf Romantic. I'd love to hear your take on this, on this winning system, the system where you're always winning, you're just trying to get a better score than you have in the past, and this element of chaining goals together in the game, which I really, really like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments of Dwarf Romantic.